Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I will be talking about important production tips you must know if you want to go into production business. But before then, this is Sunshine Resources, the home of skills and entrepreneurship. At Sunshine Resources, we pride ourselves in teaching skills and skill acquisition, capable of turning people into entrepreneurs. On our YouTube channel, for example, we have dozens and dozens of videos on how to make various household products. I've dropped link to our YouTube channel and also link to some of our resources in case you want to check them out. Now let me briefly talk about how to use our resources, especially from our YouTube channel. Most of the time when people get to our YouTube channel and they see dozens and dozens of video resources on how to make various household products, they get confused. They become so overwhelmed that they get confused. They don't even know which one to learn. Some want to learn all of them. Well, it's okay if you can, but we think there is a more appropriate and fruitful approach to it. That's what I will also be talking about in this video as part of the tips I have prepared for you. Now, when you get to our YouTube channel, you can watch as many videos as possible so that you get insight of the kind of content that we have. But please, as you watch the videos, you need to study yourself to see which one interests you the most. In other words, which of the videos or content that you watch interests you the most. Let your choice of product be aligned with your interest. Your interest is a product of your previous knowledge and experience. The product must definitely catch your interest. In that case, watch as many videos as possible and look for the one that arouses your interest the most. This is very important. Now once you get a product of your interest, watch the video as many times as possible and as you watch, get a notebook and a pen and put down some notes. Don't watch the videos like the way you watch entertainment videos get some vital information on paper. If you don't want to do that, you can order for our ebook which has comprehensive details of formula and procedure of all our product. The ebook guides you professionally with a lot of production tips. I've dropped a link to accessing our ebook in the description box below this video. Now if you have our ebook or you have put down some notes then study the note very carefully. Try to get familiar with the names of the chemicals. Consider the chemicals as your friends, just the way you know your human friends by their names, character, etc. With time, you will get to know these chemicals too by their behaviors. Some of them are friendly, while some are not. This is part of the orientation and training. In the course of your production, try to keep to lay down precautions. Try to also understand the procedures of the production, especially in terms of measurement of materials. Now listen to this. The quality of your product depends largely on the accuracy of your measurement. You need to understand measurement and units of measurement. Solid materials are measured in grams or kilograms, while liquid materials are measured in milliliters or liters, sometimes in cubic liters. This is where mathematics comes in. For those of you who dodged mathematics classes in your secondary school, this is where you will surely regret your action because you need mensuration and unit of measurement to be able to move on as far as production is concerned. 90% of production success lies on measurement. You need to practice measurement seriously. If you're using a scale, for instance, you need to understand the calibration of the equipment. If you are using an electronic weighing machine, you also need to understand how to set the unit of the machine to kilogram or grams. Make sure you study the manufacturer's manual also. Now, after going through all these drills, then you can go to the chemical shop to get the chemicals. Going to the chemical shop is also another kind of orientation. 
pay attention to the appearance and texture of the chemicals as you buy them from the shop. If possible, you can even read the labeling of the packaging of the chemicals in the shop. You may not understand the terms used on the packaging, but it opens doors to new learnings for you. If you have a science background, the better, and it is part of a new orientation for you as someone who wants to go into production. Again, you must strive to know the chemicals you are working with. Chemicals are like living things. Some living things are harmless, while some are very dangerous. With that understanding, we know which living things we should embrace and which one we should not go close to. And even if we have to go close to the dangerous ones, we have to know how to go about it. Chemicals are like that. Some chemicals are mild in nature, while some are very dangerous and toxic in their natural state. But when we combine them with other chemicals, their toxicity disappears and the final product of such combination becomes mild and harmless. Just the way you add water to burning fire from wood materials, the fire goes off immediately. Fire and water are opposite elements. This is the reason why some chemicals in their natural state may be dangerous, but in a combined state with other chemicals, the final product comes out mild. However, it should be done with accurate measurement of materials, otherwise the chemicals in its natural state may still be left behind unreacted and that can be dangerous too when the final product is being used. Now, when trying out production for the first time, follow the procedures very carefully. Use your hand protectives and follow the precautions given to you. Do not make production where children could easily stray to have contact with your chemicals. Always do your production in an isolated area. If your first production did not come out well, don't worry. It is called trial production. Trial production is to get you acquainted with the names of chemicals and the procedures. It is part of the training. For every production you make, you gain insight and your skill ability develops. Try to be very careful and don't be discouraged if you don't get it right for the first time. Try to be very careful in your dealings with chemicals and also be very observant. Production is completely a new thing to most of us. Even those of us who claim to have gone to school, production is not part of the school curriculum. We all went to school, we became so knowledgeable in concepts and theories, but we don't know how to produce anything. If you want to test the value of a professor, ask him to produce something with the knowledge he has. You will be disappointed. Production is not our occupation. So when you want to start any production, you will be filled with the phobia of why am I doing what people are not doing. You therefore need to work on yourself and avoid distraction the system has imposed on you. Make up your mind and be steadfast. Now let me let you know that all the products you find in the market belong to people. Okay? All the products you see in the market, I mean, are manufactured by people. Imagine all the products you find in the market, they are all manufactured by people. It can be individual or group of individuals. The knowledge or skill of how to produce something is not found in the public domain. If you want to confirm what I'm saying, go to any higher institution and find out if you can learn how to make paint or detergent or soup or how to produce a car. Such knowledge or skills are intellectual properties. This means they are created and developed by people. You can also create and develop yours. At Sunshine Resources, we have given you the takeoff template. In the light of what I've said above, you must be ready to perform experiment, to test out formulas in order to improve on what you have. Now, whether you believe me or not, production is key to the development of any economy. Listen to this. No country grows without production. The gross domestic product of any nation depends largely on production. What matters to us here is what you can produce as an individual that can take you out of poverty. Production here means turning resources into useful product. It can be production of any useful product. 
most of us know how to eat gari, right? But how many of us know how to produce gari? In Nigeria here, it's like a taboo for a graduate to know how to produce gari. But he knows how to eat it. Gari is produced by our illiterate mothers in the village. Gari is a product of illiterate. So what is the product of a graduate? A graduate doesn't know how to produce anything and is not worried. Now, do you know why he's not worried? Because he hopes to get a job. His education has destroyed completely any entrepreneurship spirit in him. In the next video, I will bring more tips to you. But until then, just like I said before, if you want a professional guide in production, then you can get our ebook. You can place an order from the link or WhatsApp number given in the description box below this video. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshine Resources. That's our TV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.